Nigeria is the most populated African black nation on earth with a population of over 200 million people. They are rich in natural resources and also diverse in culture and heritage. In a country so rich and diverse in culture, it's expected to have an array of beautiful women. That is the case with Nigeria. Every tribe in Nigeria is blessed with gorgeous and diluted African women. Some say beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. They insist that where one person sees beauty, someone else will not. But most beholders will be in agreement that the following tribes boast the prettiest women. Hello and welcome to Baby Zone for your classic inspiration. Number 10. Igede. Igede people are predominantly found in Benue state, but not limited to Benue. Igede women don't tolerate divorce. They believe in long-lasting union between man and woman, and that their marriage should last till death do them part. Igede women accept inter-ethnic marriage. To them, tribe doesn't matter. If you are seeking a long-lasting union, then Igede women are the way to go. Number 9. The Idoma. The Idoma people live in the north central Nigeria, Benue state, by the southeastern flank. In most cultural groups in Nigeria, traditional marriage is an arrangement between two, two families rather than an arrangement between two individuals. The Idoma community remains the best place to marry from due to the hospitality during the bride price negotiations. Both families have to agree for marriage settlements. After the families are certained, there are no history of specific elements. Eight, the Tiv. The Tiv are a Tivo ethnic group. They constitute approximately five Nigeria's national population and over 14 million individuals. Furthermore, the role of Tiv women as key actors in the healthcare system are well known with regard to the prevention, cure, rehabilitation, and health education dimension of healthcare. The Tiv usually follow their own hearts in matters of marriage and love. <laughs> They are cool. Live in the compact towns in Cross River State. Female circumcision was common throughout much of the middle Cross River area. Other groups are, however, involved in marriages even more than the kin. For a first marriage, the age mates of the bride's mother and those of other groom's father play very important roles. Ultimately, the town as a whole is concerned with the marriage of its women, even though the great majority of marriages are endogamous within the town.
Number six, the Jiao. The traditional marriage rite in the Jiao land follows the Jiao cultures, and anyone wanting to marry a woman of same origin must marry her according to the Jiao marriage process defined by the culture. The Jiaos are the fourth largest ethnic group in Nigeria. They live major in the riverine area in the Niger Delta region. Number five. In Nigeria, the Hausa girls are regarded as the most beautiful set of women because of their unique and well endowed body. They are the best when it comes to curves, dimples, beauty, and also their walking steps can even make a man lose his control. The beauty of Hausa girls, especially from Kano, Kaduna, and as well as Adamawa state, can never be overemphasized. Number four, the Efik, that in addition to their present homeland, the Efik people also occupy the southwestern Cameroon, including Bakasi. In Efik tradition, the procedure of fattening women goes on until the lady gets solid and honorable waistline that the admirer could be glad for. During this period, the young lady is taught how to prepare great food for her better half, how to be acceptable, to deal with kids, and how to fulfill her family. Number three, the Yoruba. The Yoruba girls are respectful to totally give respect to whoever it is due. The Yoruba culture says that when a youngster meets an elder, she must kneel down to get a sign of respect. This is a major reason why the Yoruba girls grew up with the teachings of self reliance. This is because at a tender age, they get taught how to do major household chores and how to do exceptionally take care of the house. A high percentage of Yoruba girls take school and education seriously. This gives them an edge over other ladies from other tribes in Nigeria. A typical Yoruba girl would prefer to go to school, get her degrees and certificates before thinking of marriage, which is rare in some other tribes. This helps them plan their lives well, get prepared for the future before jumping into it. Because most Yoruba girls plan their lives before marriage, a better chance that make them look younger than their actual age. They are even agile in old age and tend to their families. Just like fine old wine, Yoruba girls get stronger as they grow older. Number two, the Fulani. The Fulani people are one of the most widely spread tribes in the world. They are predominantly found in West Africa, northeast parts of Central Africa. Some of these countries include Nigeria, Guinea, Mali, Burkina Faso, Cameroon, and Senegal. The Fulanis of Nigeria are mainly pastoral. They move across various areas of land across different cultures. The Fulanis can be easily recognized by their physical appearance. They have slender bodies with a sharp pointed nose and long dark curly hair. Fulanis are largely Muslim. One of the best traditions that have been preserved by the Fulanis marriage ceremony. Marriages in Nigeria tribes are sacred, but among the Fulanis, a lot of spiritual and traditional values are accorded to marriage. The Fulanis have physical features that, that makes them the top tribes with the most beautiful women in Nigeria. Number one 
is the Igbo girls, a sect of Nigerian girls from the southeastern parts of the country, are one of the most beautiful and intelligent women in the world. However, they have unique quirks which impact their marriage considerably. The Igbo women are known to be exceptional cooks. You'll never have the temptation to eat outside. You'll also raise your children with love and teach them their language. If you marry an Igbo girl, you can't be sure that your children will pick a language whether you like it or not. You'll raise the children with love and instill right values and morals into them. If you want to marry an Igbo girl, you should know that as subtle and sweet as they are, they could be highly venomous when pushed and taken for granted. They are not ladies that will just watch and fold their hands while you cheat on them. They will confront the hell out of you and deal with you both, you and your lover. Igbo girls are hardworking and industrious. They will help in managing resources. Just like the Yoruba, they like education. They are educated and will support you to manage your empire. And if you feel there's any other tribe I should have mentioned, please share in the comment section below. I'll be glad. You're all welcome for your views and opinions. Otherwise, thanks for watching.